Hi everyone, my name is Sofian. So today I'm going to try to explain uh, does the word is the word ending or the word will never end. So a lot of people are asking this question. Is this word ending or this word will never end? So I'm going to answer these two questions. So it's up to us humans whether the word will end or the world will never end. But before I explain how the word will end or how the word will never end, I'm going to talk about, of course, God. God is the creator of everything. So if people, they don't believe in God, they should start believing in God because there is a creator who made everything, the visible and the invisible stuff. So God made the earth, made everything that exists. And I'm going to explain the letter H how h equals 8 so like when you start counting the numbers you say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and when you start the alphabet you say a b c d e f g h so h equals 8 so when you start counting the numbers until 8 and you start the alphabet until 8 you will find out that h equals 8 and the word humans starts with an H. So the letter H symbolizes humans in the alphabet and number H symbolizes human in the numbers. And this sign, number 8, it looks like a sign of infinity. What that means? So this is like a sign of infinity. I had just written, we'll write the sign of infinity that way, but number 8 we'll write it that way. But they are the same. It's just one stand straight and that one is in the incline. So, humans are infinite. I'm going to explain how the humans are infinite. So, any human beings that exist, his existence is forever. So, once you exist, your existence is forever. So, God made you. You live here on earth. And when you die, you leave the body here. And the spirit goes up. So, this is afterlife. And as you can see here, number 8 has two circles. One in the top, one in the bottom. And each circle represents a life. So the bottom circle represents life here on earth. So look, you exist here and you live, when you die, you finish the bottom circle. And when you die, as I said, you leave the body here and the spirit goes up and your life continues. So the human beings, they exist forever. So once you exist, your existence is forever. The only thing that's happening once you exist, you live here on earth, when we die, you leave the body here, and the spirit goes up, but your existence is forever. And you are infinite. This is the sign of infinity. So humans equals 8, and humans are infinite. So once you exist, your existence is forever. And obviously, when you go up there, there is uh, destinations, whether heaven or hell, this is something different. But today, I'm going to explain, does the world end, or does... Or does the word never end? So now I explain H equals 8. I explained the humans, they are infinite. Now I'm going to explain plus. In order for me to explain obviously what I said before. So a plus in math equals 1. A plus in the math equals 1. And each one of us is 1. Each one of us has a spirit, the red, and the body, the white. So each one of us has a spirit and a body. So each one of us is one and one equals plus. That means each one of us is a plus. So now I'm going to explain the first one. The word will end. So it's up to us if the word will end or not. So if we want the word to end, so we're not going to do what God said. What God said is just the Ten Commandments. So if we don't do the Ten Commandments, this earth is doomed. The end will come. Because if we don't do the Ten Commandments, we put them on the side so we open the door for evil things to come. Every, all the bad things will happen. Diseases, illnesses, earthquakes, tornadoes, wars, global warming. All the bad things will happen and more is coming if we don't do the Ten Commandments. So what's going to happen then? So we're going to destroy the planet. Humans will destroy the planet they are living in on right now. So if we don't do the Ten Commandments, 
the word will end. And as I said here, this is a sign of infinity. So that means sign of infinity, that means the life will never end. So we exist forever. And this here also, these two circles, one is the time and the other one is the, is the earth. So the time spins that way. So the mirror of the time spins that way. And the, and the earth spins that way. And why the time is spinning that way and the earth is spinning that way is for a reason. So the time is spinning that way and the time will never end. Your existence is forever. The time will never end. You exist, the time continues. Non-stop. The time will never end. But the earth thus spins the opposite of the time and something that doesn't end it's something that ends so what's the opposite of something that doesn't end it's something that that ends so if the time is not ending so the earth will end but the end of the earth it's up to us so if we do the Ten Commandments we'll keep it this shape time and earth and life will continue. We live, we die, our kids will live, they die, our grandkids they live, they die, etc. etc. So it's up to us. If we do it in God's way, so the infinity time will never end and the earth will never end. But if people they don't do the Ten Commandments, this earth is doomed. So we'll be in this shape. So the end of the world, it's up to us. If we do what God said, life will never end. But if we don't do what God said, we will destroy the planet. And that is what's going to happen. The end will come. And why the reason why the world will come, the end will come? Obviously because God is not happy. And if people are not doing what he said was going to happen, he will punish them up there and he will send them to hell. And if the earth continues in the wrong way, so more people will be born and they're going to live and they're going to go to hell, so he will extend the hell. And this is not something that God will enjoy. But if it's heaven, if we do in Ten Commandments in God's way, so the life will continue, so we live according to the Ten Commandments here on earth, when we die, we will go to heaven and God will be very happy to extend the heaven. Because when people are going to heaven, that's something good. But if people reject God reject the Ten Commandments so they can go to hell so God will never let the earth continue because he knows that the people who live or the people who will come later on they're going to go to hell and he's not going to be happy with that so he will stop it put the ones who are got in, in hell and the life no more and newborns that's it so the world will end or the world will never end it's up to us so if we do what God said, the world will never end. And what God said is the Ten Commandments. But if we don't do what God said, the world will end. And simple as that. So that's why the time is spinning that way and the earth is spinning that way. So the time will never stop. And something that's opposite to something that doesn't stop, it's something that stops. But if we do the Ten Commandments, we will keep addition. But if we don't do the Ten Commandments, we will get to this shape and it's not a circle and the world will end. So during the Ten Commandments, life will continue forever and that means the world never ends. But if we don't do the Ten Commandments, the world will end. So that's if you have any question about is the world ending or the world is not ending, it's very simple. During the Ten Commandments, the world will never end. Put it on the side of the Ten Commandments the end will come. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a good day everyone.